All right. <laughs> We're going to skip a bench in between every row. All right? All right. So, second row, you guys should be good, right? First and second rows are good. Everybody else has to keep moving. I think everybody's uh, excited about uh, some of the new talent that we have on our team, uh, some of the new uh, uh, members of our team that will get a chance to play this year. Uh, a lot of young kids. Uh, I'm excited because of that more than anything else is because of the youth of our football team. Year two or year 1A or whatever you want to call it, uh, um, I, I feel much better about the kids that, uh, that, that I'm around daily. The, the 105 guys that I'm around daily, I, you know, we push these kids and they they respond. They they work really hard. Uh, you know, we don't have a whole lot of off the field issues. Knock on wood, right now. I uh, hope we hope that continues. Uh, but these kids have all been fun to be around, and uh, it, it's it's been a, a breath of fresh air uh, as opposed to maybe 18 months ago where, you know, I I didn't feel the buy in to totally from from the roster. Uh, now I feel like that uh, we're getting that. Now we've got to go get better as a football team. You know, now now we can take culture and, and say, okay, we're building that. Now we can now go be a better football team. So last year we were just trying to get culture in place. So yeah, I think we're on we're on the right track. It's fun being around these guys. Last year I was just trying to learn my job and knew what I had to do. This year. I just I feel like I have a bigger picture of what everyone does, so I know the nuances of the defense. So it gives uh, more meaning to my job and like why it's important to do what I do. Our offense is notorious for jet, 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 which is a fast tip on practice. So you have to be able to get lined up quick and be able to diagnose what your job is on that given play pretty quickly. Last year, a big lesson I would take uh, last year into this year is just the importance of everyone doing their job. Uh, last year. Even at our best, we can only get like 10 to 9 people doing their job, you know, and that's not going to get it done. All it takes is one person to mess up and you're giving up a big play. So just knowing the importance, you know, because it's easy to say, oh, man, I just messed up on one play. Well, that one play could have been the difference. I couldn't ask for a more talented person next to me. Like, and then other than just like talent on the field, like he's my brother off the field too, so we're close. So it just, it just makes playing just so much faster and so much easier because I know that he's going to get his job done and he know he can rely on me and it makes us um, be able just to play fast. On every team and on every defense there's highs and there's lows, strong points and weak points but I feel like right now as a unit we're very cohesive and I feel like we have a good uh, camaraderie going about us and like as long as you play as a family you play hard you always have a chance for success. And this coaching staff is great. Um, they've taught me a lot. We have this thing called Bobcat Brand. Um, we, we're trying to just build this culture, um, and it all goes around just caring and loving each other and just um, trusting each other. And so, man, it, it's been really good. It's, um, it's not only helping me as a football player, it's also helping me as a man. Uh, I've seen a lot of excitement. I've seen a lot of love. I've seen a lot of grinding and straining, which is what I, you know, I preach. And if you're not grinding and straining, every play, if your tank's not on an empty at the end of practice, you didn't do it the right way. So uh, you know, we have a number of guys, young guys too, that can help us rotate and there's no drop off. So we're gonna, we're gonna go our hardest and put our tank on empty and the next guy get in and we'll rotate him like that. One thing that Coach Withers and I are really on the same page on is we're gonna manage the game for what we need to do. So if that means this game we have to run 60 plays to help the defense, we'll do that. If we need to run 100 plays to get some points on board, we'll do that. So, and we have the ability to do that. You know, in the past, we've been Tempo, 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 tempo all the time. Now we have a nice little mix to wherever the team needs, we'll do that. You know, part of our, our entire program is the culture of do it right all the time, on and off the field. And that's something that we've, we've been pushing on the young guys a lot. You can't have days on and days off. You gotta make sure every single day, going to class, respecting people, doing certain things that, you know, people are gonna look at you, not only as a football player, but even more as a quarterback. And, uh, and so that's been fun, and, and you know, those guys grow every single day on and off the field, and that's really what we're looking for. We're going to give ourselves every opportunity to see these guys in all the situations that we need to see them in before we go name somebody. But, you know, you know Willie Jones has had a great camp. You know, Jalen Gibson has had a, had a really good camp. Jalen will miss tomorrow. He's got a family uh, deal he's got to go home to, to take care of. Uh, and now you get, you get uh, uh, Damian back. And, 
and uh, you know Keyshawn Kelly is you know still recovering a little bit from that shoulder, but you know we feel like we're as good at quarterback as we've been you know at least since I've been here. Part of our philosophy too is hey early in camp let's throw it all at him, let's give it all to him. It's going to be rough, like I said, because you're going to have a new install every single day, new plays, new formations, new reads, new calls. But then what we get to do is we get to take a step back, we put it all in, and kind of decide what are we really good at, what do we want to be good at, and how do we kind of transition our, our you know, reps, as we call them, to go get more at certain plays and less at other plays based on how it's, how it's gone so far. Tempo is, you know, it's one of our staples, is going fast. And part of that puts a lot on the quarterback because when you're trying to get everything right, and, you know, we, everybody wants to have the right play called in the right situation, some offenses are built for the quarterback to make a lot of audibles. Some offenses are built for a quarterback to look to the sideline and get the play from the, uh, from the, the signalers. We really put a lot on our guys to go get it right in a, in a fast operation so that we're not waiting around for the offense to get set. And, and that's part of the growing process is how do you make sure their eyes are in the right place to see their indicators and to see what's really happening on defense so that we can make sure we're in the right play and it's happening with a, with a good tempo. So we got a young group, inexperienced group, but they're eager and they've, they're talented. And so, you know, they've, they've gotten better every single day. I can't state that enough. And that's all I ask of them. And, and if they continue to grow, and, and kind of mature in the offense, uh, I'm excited for the group. All those quarterbacks we have right now, they have a lot of talent. Uh, Jalen Nelson, uh, Jalen Gibson, uh, Willie Jones as well, and also Damian, man, they all have just this natural talent. And uh, honestly, when I line up, I can't even really tell the difference sometimes when, when who's throwing me the ball. I just, I just go play, and uh, that's, what, that's what I want to do at the end of the day. I just, I just really want to go out there and just win some games. It doesn't really matter to me who's back there. Um, I just want the best leader, best competitor out there. Some beers have a lot of ingredients, a lot of different ingredients. Our beer is brewed with four essential ingredients, barley, rice, water, and hops. Here's to the beer you can always count on, brewed to be America's favorite light lager. They're tenacious, driven. You know, honestly, I think they're fun. Their energy level is great. Um, their energy level is great, and like I said, it's it's thinking you know, at the same pace, the same ideas, and they've got to be together. <laughs> uh, we have some finishers. They've just got some innate ability to know when to hit it and know how to finish. Um, so I'm excited about the firepower. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Our Peck Library. Soapbox Derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts. Before every season, players are named to watch lists for some of college football's most prestigious awards. One of those is the Warfield Trophy, an honor given to a player who best exemplifies community service and academic achievement. The Bobcats had five players named to this year's watch list more than any other team in the nation. I think for me, like, that community service aspect is just huge because the platform that they give us here for Texas State football and athletics is just by far it's unmatched because people on campus don't get that opportunity every day so we'd be remiss if we didn't take advantage of that. Well, it's always time to do the things you love and like I really love helping people and I love kids but it's not just on me like the coaches 
make a, uh, an effort to make sure everyone volunteers to give hours so like the whole team really could have been nominated for this award. I was really uh, shocked and honored when I was nominated and I was, uh, it's, it's really a blessing. When you sign young men to scholarships and you bring them into your program, I think part of that student athlete experience is being involved in the community and being a part of the culture of the community. So uh, I think we had something over a thousand hours this summer uh, of community service. Uh, and I think that's something that's going to, we're going to always push in our program is our kids getting out and serving the community. And I think that's a big piece of what we want to do in the culture that we're trying to build. Man, it's always, it's always good to give back. My mom always told me when I was younger, it's always nice to do some community service. And also, um, I think it looks well on the resume as well. Um, for life after football, you have to think about that as well. Um, just serving um, the people around this town, around the community, is uh, so important to me. Um, it just, it, it also makes you feel better in, inside also, man, just, um, just helping somebody else out there in need. During the summer, the guys just normally take one class and then they're working out and then they usually have the afternoons, late afternoon um, free. And so they like to give that time to the community. Um, one of the big efforts that we've done is working with Serve San Marcos and uh, the United Methodist Church. And we've done river cleanups, we've done uh, um, different things with the food banks around here. We have um, gone over to our neighborhood right across the street here and, and done tons of things in terms of just playing with the kids and going to the school that's over there and really getting involved. Um, and it's great because then those guys, you see them um, on game day, they come over here and it's cool for the players to see them in the stands too. So it's pretty neat. In high school, I did a lot of stuff the same, but I know college, we have a lot more time stuff where we're time restrictions and a lot of stuff like that, just trying to get rest at time, certain times, but just planning stuff out, I guess. And I just, uh, for me at least, I know that I'm here for five years and just knowing that I have so much to give back to the university because they give me the school, they give me the teaching, they give me the tutoring, whatever it may be, just to be able to give back because that's the least that I could do. I think obviously it's not the easiest thing, but it's so rewarding to be able to go help some kids out at a, a local school. When, when I was younger, I always loved when people did that stuff for me. And I think just growing older, it's become more apparent how important that is to us. I feel like people want to do. I feel like it started off as like, this is something we do, but then we're like, well, hey, like helping the community and like getting to meet new people and talk to new people and just seeing like, what giving back does for people, like it's a good feeling, and like now people just take it and run with it. Ever wonder what's in a beer? If it's a Bud Light, it's four essential ingredients: barley, rice water, and hops. Here's to the beer you can always count on. Brewed to be America's favorite light lager. What do I like about Texas State? People watching on the quad. I love that we can express ourselves. Our campus is so beautiful. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. Our professors are amazing. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. Our Peck Library. Soapbox Derby. I'm doing amazing research. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a Bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs> They're tenacious, driven. And honestly, I think they're fun. Their energy level is great. Um, their energy level is great, and like I said, it's it's thinking you know, at the same pace, the same ideas, and they've got to be together. Oh, uh, we have some finishers.
they've just got some innate ability to know when to hit it and know how to finish. Um, so I'm excited about the firepower. We all know the saying, if you look good, you feel good. Well, the Bobcats are definitely going to be looking good this year after they added a brand new gold uniform. And judging by the players' reaction upon seeing them, they're going to be feeling pretty good about it too. Here's more on Texas State's newest golden threads. This is going to be my third year here. Um, since since I've been back, um, gold is always you know when are we going to get gold? When are we going to get gold? Gold helmet, gold jersey, gold pants, um, maroon and gold. And so um, it was definitely something that we wanted to do. Definitely something we wanted to bring back, um, not just for the fans but for our players as well. And so um, it was it was a top priority. Adding a uniform is always exciting. Um, the guys love to see the new ideas, the new concepts, how it'll mesh with um, what we already have. Um, and then, you know, the whole thing with the reveal, um, if, if you can pull it off successfully to where nobody knows about it, um, it'll be a really, really awesome thing. Um, we were able to do that this year. Uniforms are huge. Um, one, because for a lot of, for a lot of programs, um, the uniform, the helmet, um, it's the first thing that anybody will see from the outside looking in. Um, the first time they either walk into the stadium or turn the game on on TV on Saturdays. And so um, just, just having a good brand recognition there that's consistent throughout all of your uniform combinations um, so that as soon as somebody sees Bobcats or the state of Texas on the sleeve, they know it's Texas State. Um, the uniforms are also big because we have to um, constantly um, attract 16, 17, and 18 year olds that we're recruiting to come to school here. And so um, we definitely want to stay on the, on the front end of you know, the new style, the new design, um, what's hot at the time, um, keep things fresh, change up the jersey styles, all that kind of stuff. The first time we will see the uh, all gold uniform this year will be uh, September 16th uh, at home against Appalachian State. We will mix and match a lot. Um, as you mentioned, uh, three different helmets, four jerseys, four pants, um, different game socks, different cleats. Um, so we will, uh, we will not wear the same thing twice. By now, you know the Bobcats are opening up the season this Saturday against Houston Baptist, but what about the rest of the 2017 schedule? Well, let's take a look and we'll start with the month of September that sees the Bobcats play five games. Three of those games are at home. The Bobcats will play HBU this Saturday. There are two road games in September. The Bobcats next week head to Boulder, Colorado to face the Pac-12 Buffaloes, and they'll also take on Appalachia State at the conference opener on September the 16th. The following week, the Bobcats renew their I-35 rivalry with the UTSA. And then the Cats close out in non-conference play September 30th at Wyoming. In October, there are only three games. Only one of them is at home. The Bobcats play ULM at Bobcat Stadium on October the 7th. Just five days later, the Cats head out to Lafayette to take on the Louisiana Raging Cajuns in a nationally televised game on a Thursday there in the Bayou. And then 16 days later, the Bobcats play their next game as they make their first ever visit to Coastal Carolina to play the shot to clears. In November, there are four games. The first two are at home. On November the 4th, the Bobcats play New Mexico State in their annual homecoming game. The following Saturday, it's Senior Day as the Cats host the Georgia State Panthers. The Bobcats play their final two games on the road in 2017. On November the 18th, it's Jonesboro, Arkansas, where the Cats head off to take on the Arkansas State Red Wolves. And then the week of Thanksgiving, it's the final game of the season on a Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, when the Bobcats battle the Troy Trojans. So in summary, the Bobcats play one FCS opponent, one Power 5 opponent, and two G5 opponents, including rival UTSA, and of course, the eight Sunbelt Conference games. If you look at the 12 games as a total, Seven of them will come against teams that played in bowl games a year ago. So that again, a look at the road ahead. We'll be right back with more of the path Texas State football.
Our goal now is to try to transform the players in our program into a better football program, a better football team. An accountability level that's off the charts. Let's talk about lifting, okay? So if you are on the travel squad, if you're on the travel squad, you're gonna lift Tuesday and Thursday, okay? Tuesday and Thursday, all right? Now those guys who are on the travel squad right now are guys that we know are gonna be there, okay? Some of you guys will be on the developmental side. That does not mean you're not traveling, okay? That means you're exactly what that sounds like. You're still developmental, okay? That means I got work to do that I can't get done during that time, because maybe you won't play as many snaps. Well, I'm gonna take full advantage of that time. I got shrug, three sets of 10, and we're gonna switch on and off, right? So there'll be two guys on RDL, two guys on shrug, flip flop, all right? You guys will have time today for gun show, okay? You will have time today for gun show. Hey, take your time, take your time, four man pace, okay? Four man pace, okay? No weight, no weight, all the way down, all the way up. Let's go eight right, eight left. Okay, let's do three sets, okay? Again, same thing. Match with somebody over here. Match with somebody, all right? Good! Good! Nice job, Luke! How do you feel? I think you know your answer then. Very nice, good, good. Nice job, Dennis. Get a stick at the top! Good! Oh, kill him! Atta boy! Good! Good on! Nice job, bro! Right there, right there. Look at me. Don't pull out here. Stop. Don't pull out here. Pull here. Double tight. Go. Good, pull pause. Down slow. Pull pause. Down slow. You're, you're way less than two weeks away. Way less than two. I think we're a little under 10 now. From game day. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Now only you can decide if you've gotten better between now, okay, and then. Well, you can decide if you've taken every day camp and gotten better, and if you haven't, hopefully your better days have outweighed your negative days, okay? But you still have a little bit of time left. Get every last ounce of everything you can, because you'd hate to turn around one day and say, God, I left something out there. I left a little bit on that field, right? I left a little bit in that classroom. I left a little bit on my nutrition. Don't do that stuff. Plug the holes. Take your time. Get what you need done today. Get it done. After that, get off your feet for a little bit. Get off your feet for a little bit. Take a nap, okay? Make sure to show your love and follow the Bobcats on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and their YouTube channel. What do I like about Texas State? I love that we're close to Austin and San Antonio. The observatory, great stargazing. Our tech library. Our professors are amazing. Our round theater building. People watching on the quad. We're the only university in Texas to graduate a U.S. president. Our campus is so beautiful. I love our flexible class schedules. Saving turtles at the turtle crossing. Downtown San Marcos is practically on campus. The new labs at Star Park. I love that we can express ourselves. Grabbing lunch at Jones. Bobcat football. The glass bottom boat. So box dirty. <laughs> I'm doing amazing research. I love the squirrels around campus. I love exploring new ideas at Common Experience. When I see Old Main, I know I'm home. 
The courtyard at Taylor Murphy. I love our student art gallery. Climbing the rock wall at the rec center. I'm definitely jumping in the river at graduation. I'm just proud to be a bobcat. Can I like say all my favorite things? <laughs>